do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter reproduction in plants in that we are studying topic microsporogenesis today we will be studying how male gametophyte is formed from a flower to the journey of male gametophyte or pollen grain we'll be studying what is the most crucial step microsporogenesis micro means spore and spores means pollen grains how pollen grains are formed we should be studying today microsporogenesis we all know that inside pollen sac there are pollen grains but how are the pollen grains formed what is their journey today we'll be studying in detail about that the process is called as microsporogenesis now how does microsporogenesis take place what are the tissues let us study that formation of microspore is called as microsporogenesis when i say microspore it means small spores spores are nothing but smaller pollen grains we all have started the structure of microsporangium and if you clearly remember the structure of microsporangium or you can say the structure it has three layers middle layer endothelium the external layer tapetium now inside tapetium there was something called as sporogenous cells or you can say sporogenous tissues now what does tapetium do to the sporogenous tissue tapetium provided nourishment to the sporogenous tissues during the process of microsporogenesis the sporogenous cells differentiate to form meiocyte meiocyte a smaller version of microspores and once meiocytes are formed four haploid megaspores are formed or you can say four haploid microspores are formed this meiocytes basically differentiate into four haploid microspores which is also termed as microspore tetrad and once microspore tetrad are formed this microspore tetrad dissociate and develop to form pollen grains now what will be going on mitosis or meiosis during the process obviously it is the process of gamete formation and when it's a process of gamete formation obviously meiosis has to be going on at each process microsporogenesis the steps for microsporogenesis are formation of microspore is termed as microsporogenesis when i say micro it means small and when i say spores it means pollen grains sporogenous cells or the cells of microsporangia basically differentiate to form meiocytes and this meiocytes undergo meiosis or you can say reduction division now four haploid microspores are formed which are termed as microspore tetrad and this microspore tetrad dissociate and develop to form the pollen grain or male gametophyte
the journey of pollen grain starts from sporogenous cells. Sporogenous cells are basically diploid and these sporogenous cells differentiate to form meocytes or you can say mother cell. Now meocytes are also diploid. Meocytes undergo further division or meiosis to form four haploid tetras or you can say microspore tetras. Now among the four haploid tetras, one of the haploid tetra will form pollen grain which is the male gametophyte. Students, in this part of the chapter, we actually studied how pollen grains were formed using the process of microsporangium and how differentiation takes place. I hope you all are clear with this concept. Thank you.